they don't milk cows. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. What's that taste, Jersey? Come on, lady. <laughs> it's Saturday, and we're with our friends. Say hi. Hi. That's Wiley. Corgan's packing up the vehicle. And it's milking time. So they are all walking towards the milking shed. Of course, it looks like the jersey's leading the way. Okay, so what are we looking at, Wiley? This, this is the yes. This takes the bale wrap off the bale and then it, keep, it grabs onto the bale wrap mm -hmm. and then all the silage falls out into the silage wagon and then you go undo this part and then you open this part up and, um, and the wrap falls into a pile and then this is the um, effluent tank. So, Effluent means manure? Yep. Right. And, um, it's a very much nicer name. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and these pipes come in from it and it goes to the post of sounds in the paddock. Okay. And then, and then they the irrigate. On the top. Yep. Yeah, and they irrigate. And, um, Excellent. And then what's over here? Stacks. Yep. So is that corn silage? Um, or what do they put? So. Yeah. Or haylage maybe, like grass. Yeah. So do the cows come on this side too, in these paddocks? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. And they're just about to get milked, aren't they? Yeah. So we'll see that later. Mark's doing some, some of his own, but I wanted to get it from the expert. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Alright, so this feeds out square hay bales. Oh neat. Like big ones? Big yep, squares? Big barns. So you put it on here. Uh-huh. And then um and then it spikes it and put it, takes it over the side and drops it on the ground. And um and you can pick it up then you put back up and stab these on yep. the bale. And then does and it then, lift it and, yeah, and then drop it? Yeah, and then it flips it over and drops it on there. Excellent. And, um, I think I've seen some beef farmers in the States use something like this. And then, yeah, it just makes uh, like a little windrow, right? Yeah, and I think it can only have two bales. I think the maximum is two bales on it. Right. Um, but you can keep one on, you can still have one on here while you're in the paddock. Right. So then you, while you're in the paddock, if you run out, you can... Still, you can refill it. Yeah. That's a sweet little machine. Mm. An old Land Cruiser. So he's going to, your uncle's going to redo it all? Yep. Very neat. And then you'll just use it for around the fields and stuff, okay. right? Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. It's from 1980s because it the 80s? Has, a, has the thin on it. That says it on the Oh, right there, yeah. It says 198. So is it 1998? Yeah, it's 1 slash 98. Yeah, it wasn't far to be. No fodder beet grass, grass maize, no fodder beet oats, <laughs> oats maize, maize oats, oats grass, grass again, and then back into fodder beet. All because I just keep playing with rotations around trying to find things that work. Uh, and that's a thousand, about over a thousand metres just up there. And, uh, and you can see the glacier, yeah. how the glaciers kind of come down that side and created that. Such a contrast to Australia. Yeah, totally. They don't normally see me so and Tim, so they're kind of a bit scared. Of mm -hmm. us well, and they wouldn't have never seen me. I'm pretty yeah. scary. They're like, should we come? As soon as one goes into a paddock, all then the they all go. go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Happiness. <laughs> and it's not like they weren't already in green pastures. No. One of them was jumping around like a sheep. I know. How's that taste, Jersey? So how old are these? These guys were born last uh, September. So okay. they're coming up sort of six months of age, I suppose, aren't they? Seven months of age. Wagyu. Wagyu cross. So Wagyu crossed with any of yours or specific? Uh, with any of our dairy cows. With any of them, okay. And these guys, if they're in the right marble score, going into California State Club, are selling at $150 a kg. Oh. Whoa. And they, we definitely don't get a hundred of them. No, <laughs> yes, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, probably better than the standard beef. Yeah, and that's why we're doing it. So they're paying a fixed schedule, mm. uh, 12 months a year. Oh. And we've got a fixed Lovely. contract with them. I think we have an escapee. Yep. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I think you're in the wrong group. Spots. No, the black calf with white spots. Your friends are coming, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at them go. Wow. <laughs> it's like a flood. Last but not least. Come on, lady. Okay, Wiley, give us a tour. Okay. Um, here's the tether. That's the tether. Yep. And Here's our sea drill. Mm -hmm. It's a lot smaller than your one. <laughs> um, so you're, you're and the there's a wrapper. This is a wrapper? Yep. And Very over neat. here is the hay bale. Do you have any round bales or just square? We have round and square. Oh, nice. That makes these square ones in the shed here. Um, then back at the dairy farm I was talking about before. Right. <laughs> I've seen a few of those in New Zealand. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of tractor? Um, the Massey Ferguson. You like your Massey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there's some seed here. There you go. I'm pretty sure it gets sucked up this, goes into this, and then down all the pipes. I think you're probably right. Mm. And I think you can store tools in there and there. Mm -hmm. And there's a hole in the bottom to empty it out. Neat, that's handy. Cleaning it out. Yep. And then the tarp to keep it all dry in case you get stuck in rain, but I don't think it's rained here. No, it hasn't rained for a while. <laughs> It rained uh, so a few like days a ago, but it wasn't old, enough. No, so just enough to green up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's put the stack on. That's a good idea. I'm here with my two bosses now. Hi. Say hi, Tim. Hi. <laughs> hi. We can drive out of much cows if you want to. Just to Are you tired of our farm tour, boys? <laughs> Hello. Watching YouTube. I'm not. Simmons. Simmons, yes. The big thing I know is what's the storage temperature? What do you think that is? Three degrees. Got it up here. Four degrees. Three. Like six. Six. But it will get down to what? Four. Didn't he say? It'll put it below around five. 
The one guy that we stopped at had a system where an electric, an electronic device tricked the box to think it was warmer than it was to help cool the milk quicker. Okay. It was, anyway, he said it was a Kiwi invention. Right. But there was an odd awesome. No, that was in uh, Cambridge. In the North Island, yep. Okay. So we, so we're cupping our cows here. And they just walk on, we'll see in the morning. Go around, do a lap, walk off. But these things hold them on if they're still milking. Mm -hmm. And oh, e yeah. every uh, cluster has got a um, unit which is measuring the milk and takes the cups off when the cow's finished so they don't get over milked. And that's how one person can milk. There's a, a little um, sensor around there that sprays their udder with some, uh, we used to call hexadine as a sanitizer post milking. And that's what gets. Uh, the mastitis down. We can feed in the shed mm -hmm. and all of the cows have an EID ear tag in the ear and when they walk on the computer reads them and they come up here on the touch screen and so we could see that 58 is a cow that we've treated because she had um, some infection between her claw and her foot. She's on um, depicillin. Mm -hmm. She's got a meat withholding. She's pregnant. She's in a lambs group in a current lamb cow. She was born in 17. We can see what her herd test would be, or her lactation. Cool. Her ancestry, who was her sire and dam, and her sire's sire and dam, and it's all DNA'd. We can see a health history for her. So she's had um, a tick aside to prevent the Tylaria disease in the spring, mm -hmm. a pour on when she was young. Some selenium and a copper capsule. Yep, everything you've treated with. She carved on the 4th of August, which is my birthday, so she's a cool cow. This cow came round again, which is why she's purple. And I want to draft her, so I just hit draft. Cow, seven, six, two, what? draft cow. She's out there for us at the end of the milk. Wow. So, we, so that's a kind of key piece of men making a herd. So they're all individuals. Right. Is that the like pro plan or what? Uh, it's called mine. It's called uh, ProTrack. ProTrack. Yep. Yeah. It's a Kiwi company. Yep. Right, LIC. Um, and together with that, we have a camera. And this big LED light. And when they're in season, we stick a plastic heat patch on their back. Oh, so and, and then when they're in time on yep. the beach, yep. they're in season, yep. they set that off. The camera reads it and drafts it all oh, that's cool. every day. Oh, really? So that's how we do 10 weeks AI. Nice. Yeah, nice. you've got to manage the patches and bits and pieces, but we're getting really good at the car breaks. Um, the ultimate's going to wearables, so it won't be long, yeah. it'll have collars and, and, yep. and stuff. Yep. There's a lot of challenge getting a wearable designed in an indoor system to understand the dynamic of a walking outdoor path to grazing system. Cool in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna see the last. That's all right. It's Sunday and we're up with the cows. We're gonna. We're not gonna milk. We're gonna watch the professionals milk. Say good morning. Cause I don't milk cows. <laughs> oh, someone else is coming. So I think these girls are all in holding. They started at. Five, I think, and it's probably close to seven. So I think this is the holding area. Got wet. 
So we're clean, mid cleaning because it's a different group oh, now. Oh, we just keep trying to keep things nice yeah. and clean, and then there's no clean up at the yeah. end. Um, and it's a food production yeah. place, so the clean is cleanly uh, it can be. So we normally have things steam cleaning our concrete probably every six to eight weeks. Okay. Um, we scrub all the rails with the end of milking. It is clean. Scrub our floor, steam wash our platform maybe a couple of times a season. And then if you just keep surfaces wet while we're milking yep. with low volume of water. It just helps it at just the end. I just like seeing the pink in the parlor. Yeah. That smells really good with cows. She's just really quick. Cow centric. Yeah. This is my office. That's where all the work, office. All the work is done. Because I don't like working at home. But I can't always work here. Um, but I would rather work here so I'm part of what's going on. Cool. And that, so yeah, we we got this idea of raising it just from someone else. It's an observation deck almost. Because it just means you can kind of sit up here. You can see everywhere. You can see what's going on in the yard and yep. you can see if someone needs a hand. And, yeah. So this is the same. They're seeing the same, that's the same screen. Yeah. And this is actually all 15 year old tech that we're about to roll out in a few weeks and, and shift to a new system. Because it's all based on an old Windows that doesn't. Windows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so everything's going to um, like I guess more universal. Like it could run on the on the iPhone screen or iPad yep. or whatever. Yeah, that's Collingwood, and that's the Arere Valley. I was saying, you know, we've got nearly another valley the same size as oh, yeah. West, which we didn't quite get to. But if you did have time today, we'll get out to the Ferro Spit and go and have a quick look because it's just really beautiful. So we were at that beach and you said this is how far the land goes around. Yeah, so we were standing sort of here at Pulmara yeah. looking straight oh, out wow. at that. At that wow. sense. But we were looking across the bay at those mountains in the yep. distance in the haze yesterday. And so this is the you know, the big mountains that you come over the top mm -hmm. and look at it's just sort of, and that's our kind of watershed. So when we get some flooding right here, it's not no. it's understandable because you get a big system out of the Tasman. It catches that. Gets into that. It's, it. <laughs> it's got nowhere to go. Well, it might not be occurring any quicker, but the mechanisms to see change with technology and social media and the platforms that's provided for us is is that we, we feel like change is naturally happening more rapidly. Yeah. Uh, and then this piece of ground judgment. So again, and, and I guess it just so much speaks to what you and Sandy set out to do with the YouTube channel and these podcasts and things, is to connect people around misinformation and misunderstanding, because that's where judgment kind of comes from. Yeah. So they're just finishing up here, and the last ones on this carousel are ones that they've segregated, probably treated for if they have a foot problem or mastitis. I don't think they have many with mastitis at all, actually. Uh, so it's just been really cool to watch this. Mark and Corrigan are up doing the podcast, so I just came down here to see the last ones get milked, but it's slick. I've never seen a rotary actually working, so this has been really fun. We are packing up the van and heading out of Golden Bay, which is kind of sad because it's been really, really nice and we love Corgan and his family and his little boys and uh, yeah, so we're going to hit the road and head down to Christchurch now, I think. On the way there, yep. Yeah. But it's sunny and nice and we're going to be in a van. <laughs> 